you're fined if you don't have a license. I mean, it's my right as an American to tell a story about a city that I love. And if people come here and want to learn about the city, I should be able to tell them. I am unable to start my business because I did not pass a test for a license to talk. I want to be a tour guide because I like telling stories. I love history and I like people. And it seemed like a lucrative way to make a living. Being a tour guide, to me, it's almost like being an artist because I'm painting a picture in history for other people to imagine. I love the history of this city and I want to be able to tell the story to as many people as I can. I have purchased everything to begin my business. My business cards, a business phone, a very beautiful antebellum gown. I first contacted the Tourism Management Bureau and asked them what I needed to do. I have to buy a book, I have to take a written test, and then I have to take an oral exam to be able to obtain my license. Study two months the first time and a good three months on the second try. I mean studying hard, day and night. I worked with my flashcards every day, about four to five hours for at least two months. I was confident that I was going to pass the test with no problems. I sat down and started to take the test. I realized that these were not the questions that I studied for. If I can pass a Series 7 test, which two out of three people fail in the first shot, I figured I could pass a, a tour guide test for the city of Charleston. I was really demoralized. It was set up uh, in, a, in such a way it felt like it was almost a conspiracy to keep me out. I walked out of the building of the test. And I was thinking to myself, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I met uh, some attorneys who were there from Institute for Justice. What grabbed me was a piece of paper that said, do you know you may have just taken an unconstitutional test? The test was unconstitutional. And we are putting together a lawsuit, First Amendment lawsuit against the city of Charleston over this tour guide test. I am hoping that for other people who want to become a tour guide in the city of Charleston, that they are able to do so without having to take a test and getting a license for it is basically suppressing my free speech rights to tell the story of one of the finest cities in this country. There shouldn't be limitations on what you can say, how you can say it, where you can say it, when you can say it. I want to tell the story from my perspective, not from the city's perspective. The true story of the city is very fascinating. You don't have to make anything up. People should be allowed to make the decision who they want to listen to by referrals or by reviews not the government.